Hello, and something slightly different today. Oh look, there's an oak tree. A very young oak tree growing right there. Uh, don't be fooled. Although it looks like I'm in the countryside, you, you can probably hear the motorway nearby because where I am today is a place that's pretty special because this is the home of the Angel of the North. This is uh, the Angel of the North. It's a sculpture that was made by an artist called Anthony Gormley. It was put here in 1998 and it kind of sits facing traffic driving north on the A167 for everyone driving north towards Newcastle sees this beauty it is uh, 20 meters tall uh, and uh, I believe the the body is a hundred tons the wings are 50 tons and it's 21 meters down as well and it represents um, kind of an angel rising up from the ground I guess uh, and some sort of connection to the miners or the work that used to go on in the north when they had miners here coal miners and it looks great as it gets bathed in in the sun it's an amazing looking thing the bodies supposedly like all Gormley's sculptures fashioned on his own body I don't believe his arms were like that I like it what makes it for me is that what, what it looks like and its title because it's clearly like airplane wings but it's an angel so I like the, the modern sort of variation of the wing the, the um, industry version of wings on an angel because you might be wondering why doesn't that blow over but you ought to understand that as high as it is it's also underground the same distance it's actually slightly more it's 21 meters deep and it's built to withstand up to 100 mile per hour winds There's a story that there's a story that um, a local supermarket chain, Morrison's, shone a baguette <laughs> onto the wingspan, and the local council were very upset. And Morrison's made a statement, and said, "We apologise for illuminating the Angel of the North with one of our baguettes." That was the sta <laughs> statement. <laughs> Let's move up and have a look. Just coming down here from the edge of the, of the north, just, I noticed there's a bit of a memorial ground here. People leaving little messages. Which is quite endearing. I mean, they're everywhere. You go right into the trees here. It's happening. People are leaving little trinkets to loved ones. I'm not quite sure why this happens. It's fascinating. I had no idea. I know this happens in Scotland a little bit. People like to tie ribbons and bells and trinkets to trees and memorials to, to loved ones. I had no idea that this was happening here. And it goes right down into the trees with every tree's got something hanging on it. And you can imagine that with time, these trees will get really big. I know that they did build trees in this area because people complained that the main road which you can probably hear in the background people were slowing down the road to try and grab a picture like and it's causing like a massive safety problem with cars braking all the time so they put all these trees around to to try and hide the angel of the north from the traffic it's 
this is the feet of it and it's so great that people have come and written all over it that's so great it's made from weather protected steel look at the calves oops Pretty amazing. That's people have left their rubbish there on it as well. <laughs> nice green cone. I love how the the feet have joined together. It's just a work of art. I mean, it's brilliant. Popular spot for people to come and visit. I'm looking at the wings to see if they're even flapping. I can't see any movement at all. Have a look at this one. Not budging. Oh, it is moving. Or is it? Oh, <laughs> it's hard to tell with the clouds moving the way they are. I love it. There you go, a very short visit as I go on my journey north. I'm heading actually to the borders of Scotland where I'm going to be visiting a, another historic monument. I won't tell you exactly which one it is, but you, you shall be seeing it shortly, soon. It's a good one, you'll like it. Well, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions or comments, put them down below. Subscribe, like, hit the notification bell. And then I'll be able to tell you when I've uploaded another video. Take care. See you again soon.